Welcome back. Now, as journalists, our ultimate objective is to highlight the weaknesses in society, hoping that those responsible for addressing these weaknesses would respond and take action to fix the problems. This way, we have helped to shape our society and make it a better place. But because we are also products of the same society we cover, the problems of our society therefore become our own problems and we become an integral part in finding the solutions to these problems. So what exactly am I saying? Sometime in 2019, I went to my alma mater in my hometown of Ondo in Ondo State to report about the state of the school as part of a reporting project called Track, Hashtag Track Nigeria, which is supported by the MacArthur Foundation. Now, Hashtag Track Nigeria is essentially a project meant to highlight the cost of corruption and demand accountability from political leaders. So my plan was actually to highlight the deplorable state of the secondary school I attended, hoping that by so doing, the government's attention would be drawn to the school and something done about the state of the infrastructure of the school. Now, without exaggerating, the junior classes of the school was close to disappearing. Classrooms had collapsed, no staff room, no toilets, nothing whatsoever. Nothing happens in the school when it rains because the roofs, which had been in place since the 70s, were all leaking. It was such a horrible sight for a government-owned secondary school, which is in the center of a very big and well-known town, not in a remote place. Well, to cut a long story short, rather than proceed with the original report, I chose to do something. Take a look. St. Ambrose's Catholic Secondary School was established by the Catholic Church in October 1977, before it was taken over by the government. And since then, there's been no proper maintenance of infrastructure at the institution. But all this changed after a visit by multiple award-winning journalists and senior prefects of the school in 1994, Deji Badimosi. Torched by the plight of the students, he took it upon himself not just to rebuild the bad classrooms, but to also provide other facilities like toilets and borehole. It's all excitement and joy at the unveiling of the new buildings. But he must see, explains the motivation behind this gracious act. The whole idea was to renovate one block. In the course of the renovation, the engineers discovered the building could not be salvaged because the plan was to just cut open part of the wall and then put pillars. But as they were cutting open part of the wall, the whole wall just kept falling away because it, 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 it was just not possible to salvage. So... Now, fearing for the financial cost, I asked that the building be brought down, that one block, that it should be brought down. And that's how the journey of the four new buildings standing here today actually started. The fourth block is actually housing 10 toilets. And one more thing, we have a borehole over there now to provide water. So this is not about politics. I'm just fine with what I do. I love being a journalist and intend to stay one as long as my body and my mind can actually carry me. So this whole project, this whole project is born out of a very, very strong belief that education remains the best chance to achieve one's dream. And I'm a clear example of what education can actually do for people from very humble very, very humble backgrounds. The building was commissioned by Kiti State Governor Kayode Fayemi, who was flanked by other dignitaries, including the representative of the Undo State Governor, Ruti Miyakiri Dulu, the old Lord Bademosi, for this contribution to public education in the state. So I am not surprised that DG has deemed it fit to do this and has invited all of us here to join him in doing this. I believe that the seed that has been sown today is not just going to be limited to this. It's going to grow in leaps and bounds, and we all have to find a way to join Deji and all those who have already contributed to this to ensure that this seed keeps growing and that it is also maintained in the process. Government alone cannot fund education, and that's why I want to join others in thanking Deji and all the other people that have heeded our call 
and they are doing great things in their school. On our own part, we will continue to encourage you with all that we have. On the issue of the maintenance uh, fund, we will also make our own contribution. I must also point out the fact that there is no question in my mind that you have impacted the lives of these young ones in a, in a way that you cannot even imagine. This seed will grow, and in future, I pray that you'll be alive to see the number of people who have, who, will, who have taken some cue from you, who will do great things not only for this school, but for this nation. This is what we have always advocated for, that, that when you have been blessed, you must come back to give back to your community, to help your community. No government can build the country. No government can solely build the state. In fact, America is not built by the American government. America is built by the American people. Nigeria must be built by Nigerian people. And we must all contribute towards this. On his part, the principal of the school extends appreciation to the donor as he also appeals for attention to be paid to the senior secondary classes. Your great contribution to this uh, infrastructural uplift of your alma mater will never be forgotten in a hurry. Blessed is the one that begat you, sir. And glory be to the Almighty God that gave you such a caring heart. A project that is being commissioned today, for the sake of posterity, I would like to recall some of the strides of yours, which include the following. One, purchase of two pairs of school uniform and school fairs for 59 indigent students. <laughs> two, payment of tuition fees and other levies for the same number of students. Three, payment of WASI fee for a few indigent SS3 students. <laughs> Award of scholarship for the best student in science, humanity, vocational and technology from GSS 1 to 3. Purchase of all recommended textbooks for 59 indigent students across GSS 1 to 3 classes. Equipping the school library with relevant textbooks for teachers. Award of gift of laptop computer for each of the three most brilliant students in SS 1 to 3. Permit me to use this medium to make a passionate plea to the rest of the successful alumina and any inspired philanthropists to come to the rescue of this school by contributing their quota, especially by helping the school to rebuild the dilapidated building that littered the senior section of the school. Each of the new blocks of classrooms are named after two former principals and Vadimos' former English teacher who encouraged him to tow the path of journalism. I'm happy that from now on the image of the school has been boosted and the school's name will continue to reign now. And that uh, this has come from one of the old students that I uh, happened to be a student here when I was a school principal. That makes me proud today that uh, one of my old students has been able to do this for this institution. It's a great joy to me that I can never forget. Well, what can I say? Sometimes journalism could actually make you do unexpected things. I'm excited the junior section of that school is now wearing a new look and that the children can now study in a conducive environment and the staff too can now work with dignity. But there's still plenty of work to be done in that school. And I'm hoping that the Undo State Government will go there and do something. Even a single block of classroom will go a long way. And let's not also forget that there are many schools like St. Ambrose's Catholic Secondary School littering every part of this country and crying for attention. I hope our political leaders will listen to their cry and act. And one more thing, what exactly are you doing to support the government in changing our society? If you can, please do something. The government can certainly not do it all alone. That's how much we can take on the program this week. I thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again next week. Bye-bye.